Now, obviously, there was a, you really got popular yeah. with the whole Golden State Warriors picture and yeah. so on and so forth. But before that, um, how did you get your fan base on Instagram, for example? Um, I always did modeling. I've been modeling since um, my very first shoot was when I was 14 years old. So modeling has always been, I mean, it's a thing of the past now. I mean, it's um, its old. So modeling was kind of how I got there. And then, like I said, um, I really enjoy the stage and my presence. I was able to create fans every stage that I went on. And so um, I kind of had my own fan base. I just wasn't as popular. Right. Yeah. Now, before the Golden, St and I want to take Instagram, for example. Right. Now, before the Golden State Warriors picture right. had come out, mm -hmm. where were you fan base wise on your Instagram and you know I think I was like I don't know at 20k and then it just sh shot up I went to dinner I went to the game and then I went to dinner and the valet was like you're Rose and I was like yeah and he was like can I take a picture and I'm thinking okay you know it wasn't like too out of the norm because every now and then I got that especially in the Bay Area they know me out there and um, then he was like, have you been on your Instagram? And I'm like, no. And then I looked at it and it was like instantly 80K followers. And then it just escalated from there. Yeah, you're at a quarter of a million now at this <laughs> point, as, as far as this interview. Now, on Instagram, what posts get the biggest response for you? Uh, let's see. I recently post one when I went to Philly and I got on stage. That video um, made, made some noise. Um, you know, it's kind of weird, but um, let me take that back. It's not weird. It's just different. People like my feet. <laughs> so I got a lot of foot fetish people. And um, anything modeling, um, anything modeling yeah, and lingerie, of course. Do you have an Instagram strategy? I don't. I just want um, my fans that I have now and that I had before to just continue to be where I'm going to be at and support me. And hopefully, you know, I don't let them down and I exceed their their limits of what they have of me, you know? Now, how crazy are your, your DMs? I mean, I get a penis picture probably four times a day. And then I get hate mail um, countless. And then I actually get the fans that have some questions about themselves, about me, and then the rest is all bookings. So. Now, what about people trying to holler at you in the DMs? <laughs> Um, yeah, is it, is it serious? It's serious. <laughs> what would you say if you could put a percentage, male versus females, uh -huh. trying to holler at you? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the males are killing it. <laughs> males are killing it. Males are killing it. <laughs> now, what about, I mean, you don't have to say names, but uh -huh. what about as far as, you know, famous people trying to holler at you? You know, I haven't had famous people. I really haven't. Um, I take that back. I've only had athletes. Athletes. Yeah, I've had a couple football players, um, like two basketball and one boxer. I'm actually a fan of the boxer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. That was my next question. Again, not saying names, but was there anybody you were fond of that, you know, had actually hit you before they even hit you? Um, not fond, no. but you know, like a fan of you their know work what I was. I was, you know, I'm like really flattered with with everything that I got and um, that I was even able to make that noise um, that I didn't know that I was making. Um, but not too many people, you know, I, I probably would have think like more musicians would have been nice, but I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me. I'm taking it anyway. So everything right. else is just flattering. <laughs> I was just curious. Now, you mentioned hate mail. Yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. How do you deal with negative or hateful comments on social media. You know what? I don't. I don't I don't have time for that. I don't I don't deal with it. Um if, if I see it, I'll delete it or I'll block it. The only thing that hits me that that could actually get to me is the pictures of, of my baby girl, you know. I don't really I, I can care less about them. That'll probably get you blocked. Anything else it's hate and honestly it's it's a lot of young young people, um, young the younger crowd, little kids. I try not to really like focus on that at all. So you don't really clap back or? No, uh-uh, not at all. One one time I set up, I got a lot of uh, DMs asking me to respond to people because I wasn't responding. You know, at the time that it, that um, the whole situation happened, it was um, so much going on that I couldn't even, you know, log into Instagram without 
like respond to this person before I got this or, you know, look who tagged me before it was, you know, it was just consistently going. And so I didn't really have a lot of time and stuff like that. But um, I did get a lot of emails and um, asking me to respond to the to my fans. And I did that. So I posted one um, posting where it says, OK, you can ask me any questions. And um, I had fun with some people. I, I went in and I answered some some questions and I got a couple of haters. And then so I responded, um, you know, kind of funny in a way. And then after that, my fans kind of attacked them. So I was like, OK, let me back off. <laughs> they got this. Now, are you on Snapchat? I'm not. I have a Snapchat and I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at it. I'm so in the moment that I'm not looking to pick up my phone and let me capture this. That's not the thing that I do. <laughs> so you're, how often are you on Snapchat if you I, are on? Uh, you know what, very seldom. It's just like I'll get a couple hits where I'm like, oh, let me see who tagged me or where what I was doing at this moment because I, I don't keep up with it. I should go on there because I, I got a lot of people telling me that that's where they want to check me out, but it's not my thing. Now, when it comes to social media platforms, I noticed yeah. that a lot of dancers and models use like ConnectPal. Are you familiar with that? I've, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. No, it's it's like a <laughs> what it's, is it? It's like a, a platform where if people want to talk to somebody, like I mean, a lot of exotic dancers, models use it. Where if they want to like send them a text message, they oh, okay. actually charge for that. Wow. Yeah, and That's you cool. know, f you know, like sometimes dancers might have like exclusive pictures and stuff like that that only people would be able to see. Oh, okay. On that social media network, I was just curious if you were on it because. You're pretty big on social media, <laughs> and I thought you might be. I, I'm not. I haven't heard of it. I might look into it now. <laughs> now, when it comes to social media, uh -huh. what's your biggest pet peeve with it? What bothers you the most in general speaking? Um, you know what? It it's actually doesn't have anything to do with me in particular, but I just – there's a lot of fronting going on, and I just – you know, I, I was able to meet a lot of people – um, re uh, recently and, and previously to, to um, you know the blow up, but it's just it's it's just not real and it's almost annoying. It really is because I'm like I know these people and these people they don't do that. They don't have that. They don't you know. It's just it's not real. It's not real. That's what I, probably what I don't like is a lot of it. It's not real. Now, when it comes to Instagram, what about like as far as like fake pages have you seen people <laughs> using your images and fake profiles and yeah fake pages? there's a lot of those um there was a lot <laughs> there was a lot of fake pages but at the same time there was a lot of fan pages so it's flattering both ways yeah i noticed people that are pretty big when it comes to like instagram too have backup pages you know like a lot right. of exotic dancers a lot of models right have you ever thought about having a backup page? I did. It crossed my mind. I had a, um, a few people that um, mean something to me, you know, part of my little team. And they were like, you know, just take baby girl off of there, have a family page, have a, you know, get it rose page. And I just can't, I can't come to grips with that. I'm like, this is, this is who I am. I just want everything on in, in one thing because I can't separate it. It's really hard for me to do. Now, what about as far as like hacking? Have you ever been hacked? <laughs> no, I got a lot of um, a lot of people flagging certain pictures that's been taken down. A lot of people ask me like, "How come you took this picture down, or or why this?" And it wasn't me. It was you know, I get Instagram saying, "Hey, we had to take this picture down," or "Hey, did you recently um, try to change your password?" So. Luckily, I haven't been hacked yet. Maybe my password's a little too crazy. Now, what about as far as stalkers? Mm -hmm. Any stalkers yet? I know that's kind of been big in the media. <laughs> I haven't had them. Um, I've had some weirdos that are like consistent, very consistent. They like every picture. They talk, you know, send a comment every picture, DM me probably every day. Stalker wise, um, no, I don't think that um, weirdo stalkers are in the same caliber as me to be where I'm at and do what I do. So nothing in real life yet? Not yet. 
Yeah, because no, I have seen you know people like Ashanti and Usher and Chris Brown have had real life stalkers. Right. And right. Uh, I was just curious. Uh, you'd be surprised. How, I mean, regular people can get stalkers. So I was just curious. Right. Right. You know? um, I've had I've had one in the past actually from when I was dancing. I've had um, one, and it was it was almost there. It was it was pretty crazy. I mean, letters on the front door, windshield, things like that. And but luckily, I haven't had them. Um, here at this moment. So. Now, uh, when it comes to bookings, uh -huh. you mentioned bookings, you get a lot of bookings in the right. DM. Right. Strangest booking request so far? Um, <laughs> there's some pretty bad ones. Um, I think the strangest ones have, I mean, like I said, I don't know if it's strange. I think it's just what people like and and I get a lot of foot fetishes I really do I mean I've got a lot of like trampling like can you like walk on my face and walk on my body and I don't know <laughs> how much do people try to pay for that um I've got offered 1500 for 30 minutes of trampling just to walk on somebody's face yeah and his nuts like his, his body walk on the face and then walk back down and step on his nuts and walk back up and fully clothed, I can wear whatever. I can have heels on the chest, but nowhere else, yeah. 